Hello there. So, it's been a busy week. It has been a week of testing and running tests with a considerable amount of pain. So, <clears throat> went back to Southampton this Monday for a blood test, standard procedure, needle in the arm, blood goes out. Went back to Southampton on Tuesday for an echocardiogram. Here we are, look, just uh, getting my chest echocardiogrammed. That's my heart, beating away, nice and healthy. Uh, basically just an ultrasound for those who don't know what an echocardiogram is. Then, I had a new Hickman line put in my chest. Yeah, we can see, uh, can see that there. Hmm. Little hole in the old jugular there. That was nasty. That was very unpleasant. Compared to the first time I had a Hickman line put in, that was not nice. Uh, first time was 10 minute procedure. Before I even realised what happened, they were done. This one was not at all like that. Half an hour procedure, um, you know, and I could feel everything. Every metal rod they stuck in my neck, I could feel it getting pushed down toward my heart. I could feel them boring out tunnels through my chest and then shoving tubes up there. They did offer more anaesthetic, but, uh, I told him to crack on anesthetics for the week. But it did hurt. After that, I had to lie down and some paracetamol. And I couldn't move very much. I was supposed to have a lung function test, but breathing was hard with the uh the new line. Just the the motion of Expanding one's chest was uh, grueling. So that got moved to today where we had more tests. Started off with a kidney function test where they. Actually, let me just show you Hitman Line version 2 right here. We have three danglies. Like that. That is an upgrade from the two that I had before. So it's a bigger tube as well. So today I had kidney function test where they put a little bit of radiation in the tube and then they took my blood two hours after that and then three hours and four hours. So I was just passing the time between those checks having a nap, having a subway. After the kidney function test, we went over to um, have a lung function test where they had me with a, a thing in my mouth and uh, I had to do some breathing, breathe in really deep then breathe out really hard. And as it happens, I'm not very good at breathing tests. I have bad technique, is what I was told. My ability to breathe out is turbulent. It's not very smooth. He was going to me like, pretend you're blowing out candles on a birthday, birthday cake. Like, and I was like, you know, I can do that, but when you've got a tube in your mouth, like that big, and your mouth is around it, you can't go because that requires your lips to be like that and they're like that so you just like <laughs> so I tried my best and in the end they decided they weren't going to get any better than the crappy breathing that I was producing so that's what they got after the breathing test we went to Boots Opticians 
for an eye test because as we know side effects of radiotherapy include developing cataracts in the eyes so we wanted to get a good baseline for where my eyes were at what they were like turns out they're still great as I suspected and that's how my week has been I went and saw The Greatest Showman in cinemas great movie loved it can't stop listening to the soundtrack well that's us done for uh, tests from now on next time I'm in Southampton will be for admission on Tuesday the 10th and then that's that's me in for good then uh, until I'm out on the other side with a new immune system split DNA a new man half me half some other man an American man I'll be part American mad so I'll be just enjoying the weekend as much as I can that is all. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. See you later.